got to tell you, I'm excited about getting into the book of Revelation next week. We start off and, uh, <laughs> and uh, we start uh, our, our journey through an awesome book. So uh, just don't expect to go in such a great hurry to start with, okay? We, we're going we're gonna to dig down deep and then uh, uh, just follow through. And uh, uh, it's kind of like I, I, I'm... I'm bragging a little bit here, but in our recent trip to Israel, we went through Hezekiah's tunnel and uh, had to go down and down and down and down and down, and then you got to the tunnel and then you sloshed through the air and the water and all, but it was way down, you know. It, it, it really is magnificent the way that God uh, gave them the wisdom to do that. Uh, that's it. When we go through Revelation, when we're not looking for new stuff, but we want to be down deep enough to be able to get everything out of it that, that God has for us. So, so that's kind of interesting and, and exciting. But listen, this morning I just want to share with you, um, it's a tradition for Calvary chapels to do a, what we call a prophecy update. I'm not going to do it because I, I, I don't, you know, the tradition and, and, and I'm rebellious. No, I'm not. <laughs> but, uh, but I just want to share with you something that I believe will be an encouragement for you uh, through the year. And, um, uh, I want to start off with some negative and then finish off with, with uh, uh, the only true positives that there are, and that's through the Word of God. So um, bear with me because uh, we've left 2011 now and we have entered into 2012. And you know what, for a lot of people, there's a lot of apprehension, there's a lot of wonder at what lies ahead uh, following a tumultuous year that we've had. It's been it's been really, really hair-raising in, in many areas of the world. We, we saw this very country start with violence and tragedy, uh, you know, with the floods in Queensland and all, and, and it seems like it's finished the same way with lots of violence going on. And, and, uh, and we look around the world and we see chaos and uh, the place just seems to be in a mess. Um, nations have been attacked from even within their own countries from angry mobs demanding their own way. And, uh, it, it just seems like, you know, that the violence and the instability is just right across the nation and uh, it just seems like, where's it all end and what, what's it coming to? And the volatility of, of the Middle East continues on unabated. In fact, it, it increases as we look and see the, the, the Iran and what's going on there and, and Iraq, uh, you know, uh, what's happening there. It, and uh, it just seems like the world is riddled with wars and rumours of war. And you, you can't listen to the news, you can't pick up the paper without uh, reading about that kind of stuff. And, and even in the church, you know, you, you, you look at what's going on in the church at large, you know, and it seems that the church has lost its stability for sound doctrine uh, as it as it wishy washes all over, well, that's a good word, eh? wishy washes all over the place, you know, with, with, with just, just following all sorts of stuff. And, um, and it also seems on that basis that genuine Christianity has been attacked on, on all levels, you know, uh, just for, for the fact of, of, of our fundamental belief in the Word of God. And, and it seems a lot, like a lot of the attack has come from within the church. And, and so, you know, you, you think, well, where, where is it all going? And you and I, as, as born again, Bible-believing Christians, are more and more we're, we're, we're marginalised and we're treated as bigots, you know, and, and uh, uh, just being intolerant because we stand upon the Word of God. And, and, and increasingly around the world, Christians have been slaughtered for their faith. And, uh, and there, is not, there are not many countries left where Christians are uh, abused and, and treated with such disdain. Um, most of it, of course, is in the name of Allah, and, and we know that, and, and it just goes on and on and on. And so, you know, the world is, the world is messy as we enter into 2012. And, and, uh, and I'm not a believer in the Mayan calendar that says this is the last year and we're all going to be destroyed. I'm just telling you the facts of what we see out there in, in the world. And, and, be, and on the other side of the coin too is the weather and the way that it's going. It's just, it's just, it's changing dramatically. And you know the increasingly violent effects of, of the weather are, 
blamed on El Nino and El this and Adelaide and somebody, you know, all this sort of stuff. But the weather is just going haywire, and, and uh, we've seen floods and fires. Our own nation this past year has experienced floods and fire and, and, and all these things, just tragedy. And everybody scratches their heads and what is happening? Where is it leading? Where will we finish up? And of course you look across, you know, I, I, every night I, I just see how the, the corporate world is going and, and you know what, it just, greed and corruption are driving everything. Uh, in, in, in all aspects of economy and all, you know, and it just seems like the corporate men and women are clamouring for the superiority and for the riches and, and, and why we tie to anybody that gets in their way and, and so we just see that taking place and, and uh, so, you know, it, it, it's just all happening. Isn't that negative? <laughs> but I'm going to finish on a positive. But you know what, the, you know, everywhere, you know, the world, the weather, the financial stuff, you know, it, you and I know now we read the papers, of course it all relates back to it's Israel's fault. Now everything in the world that's happening in see appears to be Israel's fault. But um, I just, just, I, I just uh, got a few down here, you know. Uh, um, in fact, I was just reading this morning that uh, another, just a, a prophetic uh, a speculation. Uh, uh, although the, the signs appear to be that way, that Iran and Israel will be at war within uh, uh, by the end of January or February, I think it is, and, and uh, that there's going to be a, a nuclear aspect to that war. Uh, we're watching suicide bombers continue to cause horrific carnage and as innocent lives die, and then we listen to uh, the powers that be say that uh, they're. they're the journey into Iraq to release the people from oppression has been a great success and yet, you know, bombs are exploding, suicide bombers and people are dying. Countries, uh, many countries are becoming more and more under the, the control or the influence of Sharia law. And, um, and then the law, you, you look across at Europe and Europe is an absolute trash mess, you know, financially and politically. And, and, and Russia, of course, with Mr. Putin, uh, manipulating all the scenarios so that he can maintain control and take it back under the old Soviet Union that we knew, the Cold War days and all, all these things. And then there's riots now in, in Russia and of course uh, um, uh, there's, there's North Korea with a change of leadership, but who knows what's going to happen there. Um, you know, and look, other countries, uh, you know, it's just, man, it's, you think, oh my God, I said to Rome when I got back from Israel, I, you know what, I, I can't wait to go back to Israel again. And then you look at what's going on, you think, oh, I don't know whether I really want that. You know? yeah, but uh, yeah, just because of the mess that's going on. Uh, I was reading about Mexico uh, the other day. Uh, uh, that's another country that's imploding. They say that more Mexicans have died since 2007 than all the American soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan since 2001. All over drugs. All over that industry, yeah, you know, the, the barbarism, the anarchy that's going on in that country or because of this, this, um, this, this industry that's going on over there. And, and so, you know, we look at them and we go, whoa, woo, balloons and all that sort of stuff. We enter into 2012, but take a look at the world. Take a look at the condition of the place. It's a mess. You get my drift. It's, you know, in, in the natural, it's not very exciting. You know, what have we got to look forward to? in the country and there's a lot of uncertainty. You know, the clock is ticking closer and closer to the midnight hour. And, um, but as it does, I want to, I want to leave you with a the, with the thought this morning that there, amongst all the uncertainty, there is something that is an absolute certainty. It's rock solid, it doesn't change, and as we enter into 2012 as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, that's what we look to. That's what we cling to. And it's found in the sun. And I, you know, I just, you know, whoa, I got all that out. got it all off my chest. Now I want to just take you through a psalm. It's just a glorious, glorious um, chapter of confidence for us. It's talking about the sovereignty of God. Psalm 33. Psalm 33. I want to share this with you as we enter the new year. And, Hopefully it, it gives us a clear and a proper perspective.
perspective on the wholesome area that I just painted for you.